Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to configure a two router, two switch, static network using a crossover cable. Uh, a lot of times you'll look up um, on YouTube and you'll find a similar configuration. However, they're using a different cabling system. Um, oftentimes it'll be a serial DCE, which is perfect, but nonetheless, if you need to use a crossover, that's what this video is for. So today we're going to use uh, router 1841s and the switch 2950s. I've already laid out the um, three networks that we're going to use. So we'll have a 192.168.10.0/30, and then a 12.0/24 and a 14.0/24. I've already configured the um, address scheme so let's get started start with our 1841 next let's add two switches and finally let's add a couple of generic PCs to each network great now let's go ahead and wire these up. Let's go ahead and use a copper straight through. We'll go from the end here. I just like using from uh, reverse order uh, for my PCs, just helps me keep track. And then from the router, I will go ahead and uh, go to the front. This is just personal convention unless you're given specific Let's remove that one. Try that again. Just following the same that I did on the other side. And finally, we'll grab cr the cable crossover, which is this dash. We'll go from one to one. Excellent. <clears throat> we have the basics laid out. All right, so let's go ahead and start configuring. Now notice we have green lights from here to here. Uh, so that means the switch has the ability to communicate. And here though, our, our ports, our fast ethernet ports are turned off. And that's why we have the red light. So let's start with our PCs, get those out of the way. Now, in this addressing scheme, I've used a dot .50 and a dot .51, and our default will be this port, which is a 12.1. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go to desktop, IP configuration, and this first one is 12.50 with a 255, 255, 255, 0. That is correct there. And dot one for our default. Go ahead and head over here. And oops, twelve dot fifty one. Twelve dot one. Good. So at this point, we should be able to have successful communication. Notice from one to the other. Excellent. Let's move on. 192.168.14.50 and this default gateway is 192.168.14.1 okay great let's go ahead and make sure we have communication on those two Notice successful. Great. <clears throat> now, the next thing we need to do is configure our routers. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, you can do it from the GUI, but let's go ahead and do command line. So we'll go to CLI, we'll hit no. Now we'll go enable, config T, and the first thing we want to configure is this port. So it's <clears throat> INT for interface, FA0 slash 0. 
and that says that's interface fast Ethernet 00, zero which you see right here and now we will do IP network oops no excuse me IP address and now we need to address it and if we follow our addressing scheme that's a 192.168 dot twelve dot one with a two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five and I cannot type today my keyboard is at a weird angle and we'll add that we'll also do a new shut that will change the state to up and it will turn green next we want to configure this one now this um, 0 1 port is in this addressing scheme up here so we'll go ahead and exit out do int for interface fa0 slash 1 IP address 192.168.10.1 notice this is a slash 30 so that gives us a total of four addresses although only two usable but that's all we need one two so the first one will be a one and our network mask 255 255 255 252 we want to do a no shut there now next thing we need to do is configure over here we'll repeat the process starting with no or in en for enable config t for uh, configuration terminal uh, int and we want fa00 ip address 192.168 now notice this network is the 14 14.1 again 255 255 255 0 we can go ahead and, oh and we want to do a no shut while we're here change to state up that turns green good let's exit back one now we will do fa0 slash 1 IP address 192 10.2 and again that's a slash 30 so we have the three 255s and a 252 with a no shut here notice we got green all the way around so let's go ahead and look we can ping from here can we ping to here oftentimes packet tracer will fail the first time so you need to try it a couple of times but it's definitely failing and the reason for that is we have not yet set up this static portion of this network now notice if we go from here to here we're successful if we go from here to here we fail this is the problem right here and that's where we need the static network so go back into our router one exit out of this <clears throat> now we want this router to know this network this network and this network however the networks that the router sees if we do a let's get out of here we'll do in show IP route notice the only thing it sees is the 10 and the 12 the 10 network is here the 12 network is here we need to tell it about this one so we'll do uh, config T we'll do IP route this is the route network we want so we use the network address 192.168.14.0 and if you're confused as to what goes next you can hit question mark and it will tell you it needs the destination right ABC destination prefix mask 
So that's our mask, 255, 255, 255, 0. And finally, we need to tell it where. And in this case, we can use serial, question mark, and the interface number. Oh, wait, we don't. We don't want serial, we want <laughs> we want fast ethernet. And that is FA01. Now, let's in this for a moment. Let's look at this. Okay, so we'll do show IP route. So notice now we have an S for static. And it's now looking at that 14 network. So if we go from here, let's delete that real quick. If we go from here to here, we still fail. And the reason is, it doesn't know how to get back. Okay. So what we need to do is now set the other side. Now I want to point something out. When you're setting this, let's go back to our config T. And let's see here. Okay, so we want to remove this one. So I can show you a different way to do that. We can do that a couple of ways. You can come into the config mode, for instance. We can look at that particular one. Oops, we want it right here, static. And so notice we have this static through the fast ethernet. Let's remove this real quick. Let's go back to the command line. You can also do this no IP route, the uh, network, the mask, and the port. You can also do IP route 192.168.14.0 so uh, with a 255, 255, 250, zero there. And you can put the address of that port, the IP address. So you can also put 192.168.10.2. So now if we end and we go back to our show IP route, notice, again, it's showing up. This time it's using the IP address. Both ways work. Um, whichever one's more comfortable to you unless given specific um, instruction. So we're going to use this method. Now let's go ahead and come to here. And we're going to repeat the process. If we do a show IP route, oops, we have the 10 right there, and the 14, the 14 and the 10. This router doesn't know about this network. So we'll do config T. We will then do IP route 192.168. Our network 12.0. Our mask. And finally, the IP address of this path. The path that this router knows right here. And this is the entryway to this. So we can then say 192.168.10.1. So if we go back to our show IP route, we now have the 10, the 12, and the 14. Let's ping. Let's delete this. And we'll try it again. Finally, it's getting it's successful, successful, and now it's successful. Clear that window again. You should be able to ping all the way across. And now it's successful. Sometimes it takes two or three tries until it maps that path. So notice all of our paths now work. Again, let's just double check it. We'll go from here to here, from here to here, and from here 
to here and here to here. So we've gone to all the different PCs and everything works. The last thing we need to do is you can do WR which is building configuration it's writing your configuration or you can do copy run start. It'll ask you yes is that where you want to put it you hit enter and now you save that and let's do that on the other side so that way um, if you shut off your machine it'll work again so WR or copy run start all right excellent thank you if you like this video please subscribe and like it does help and if you have questions or um, you need help with a particular packet tracer by all means let me know and thank you have a good day and happy coding